What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're showcasing one of the best, if not the best tank in this entire game, AGL Golden Frieza. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, we're taking him on a Resurrected Warriors category team and we're kicking off the showcase with the Fizz Broly stage. Now, I was thinking, we're trying to showcase this guy's tanking ability, right? And there's really no better stage to show that than the Fizz Broly stage, man. This guy hits so freaking hard, it might be the hardest hitting event in the game right now. I mean, not including like one hit KO things like the UI Goku and the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, of course. But this guy's supers usually do over 200k to a non-tank unit. So I was like, if we're trying to showcase this guy's tanking ability, and this is really the stage to do it on. So, perfect, we got him in the first rotation. Ideally, we would have him link up with one of the other Angel Golden Frieza's, but you know what, it's totally fine. We're gonna leave it like this for now. Uh, it doesn't look like we're gonna get the super off, which really sucks. But you know what, he's still gonna tank. So, uh, let's see, just let's just see what he can do for our tanking right now. And later on, we'll get a super off. And you guys will notice that his damage actually is quite a bit higher than you might expect considering he's a unit that doesn't get any attack boost on his passive at the moment. Now, okay, so we're getting supered and this Broly typically does a fair amount of damage, 76. So we got supered for 76 damage, guys. <laughs> like I said, one of, if not the best tank in the entire game. He doesn't do too much else right now, but when it comes to tanking, there's really no other unit that does it as well as this guy does. And uh, of course, the Fizz Kid Boo, as well as LR Broly, they're both monsters. There we go, all done. Okay, so I know this AGL Golden Frieza is a very old unit, and some of you are like, yo, Tiger, why did it take you so long to make a showcase about him? And honestly, I, I actually had the orbs and all the dupes I needed to rainbow this guy, but um, I just never really saw a reason to, to rainbow him, you know, or even give him any super attack boost, because I just always use the Tech Golden Frieza over him, and to be fair, I still think that the Tech Golden Frieza is a better overall unit than the AGL one, and I mean it makes sense since the Tech Golden Frieza is a Dokkan Fest exclusive, AGL one is not, but the Tech one does not tank as well as the AGL one, guys. I mean the Tech one tanks very well, but the Tech one is definitely more of a overall like well-rounded unit, he does good damage as opposed to the AGL one where his calling card, all he does, literally, like his claim to fame is tanking and he does it extremely, extremely well. Uh, can we get a super here, guys? Can yeah, yes, we can, yes, we can. Okay, so let's put Cell at the end here and we'll give him these orbs for the super attack and hopefully we see some nice numbers. Of course, keep in mind that we are being boosted by the Kid Boo here, but not a 50% boost, I believe it's a 30% boost. So, okay. And a critical, okay, 500k, and an additional. So overall, I combine those two, that's about over a million damage right there, guys. Over a million damage, 30% attack boost from the Kid Boo right there. And uh, you know what, let me just go into his details. Let me go into his details. So his leader skill is a, he's basically the AGL nuke lead, so he gives AGL types Attack plus 33% per AGL key orb obtained, so similar to like the Intibiris or the SSJ3 GT Goku or uh, any of those units, you know, you guys kind of understand what nuke leads are. If you don't, then um, I'm not really going to explain it too much in this video, but maybe you can look it up yourself. But he is a nuke lead for AGL. His super attack is supreme damage. That's it. That's literally all he does. Man, this is a awful rotation, guys. What the heck? I'll save those AGL orbs for the Frieza. Um, yeah, so his super attack is just supreme damage to the enemy. He doesn't do anything else. No attack boost, no debuff to the enemy. Uh, so, you know, not the best super overall. His passive, though, his passive is what makes him so freaking insane. Damage received minus 90%. When HP is 50% or above, which I believe is the highest in the game. I believe 90% damage reduction is the highest damage reduction in the entire game. Uh, are we above 50%? Is the question. We are above 50%. Okay, perfect. And you know what? I am going to heal up here real quick just because I want him to keep that passive into the next round. All right. And we got him linked up with Golden Frieza too, so that's perfect. 
We're not going to see the tanking, unfortunately, but we are still going to see his damage output. And uh, it's it's not bad, honestly, for someone that doesn't get any attack boost. It's really not bad. His links are Prodigies, Universe's Most Malevolent, Revival, Super God Combat. Uh, that wasn't the best showing there, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> and uh, Resurrection, Resurrection F, Strongest Clan in Space, and Fierce Battle. I'm glad that they actually gave him Fierce Battle as opposed to Shattering the Limit, which does make him a little bit better, especially for boosting like the Angel Golden Freeze that he's linking with. Um, what else? What else? I was going to talk about something else. I totally, I totally forgot now. Oh, his hidden potential skills. So, typically for this unit, people tend to go for um, dodge, right? Most people go for maximum dodge, which I believe is level 15 for this, maybe level 12? 12, 12 to 15. But I see a lot of people go as many dodge as possible because he's really a, a unit that can't do much damage, right? He's not really known for his damage output. Although he did do quite a bit of damage before, about uh, a million with the additional, right? But still, like, you know, he's not really a damage dealing kind of guy. But I actually gave him only 3 dodge and 12 critical, 11 additional. And let me explain, before anybody judges me, before anybody says anything about me being dumb for making those choices, let me explain my decision, alright? So, here's the deal. He currently gets no attack on his passive, right? Totally understandable. It's really not ideal to give him critical and additional because he's not really doing that much damage with additionals and criticals. But, I mean, with the recent, I mean, the recent Im implementation of Extreme Z Awakenings, um, I totally expect this guy to get an EZ8 at some point in the future, and he's probably gonna get some, finally get some attack on his passive, even if it's like 50%. Possibly up to 100%. I don't know. They do pretty nice things with the easy A's and usually these units get huge upgrades, right? And they really can't make it much of a better tank. So I can only see him getting some attack on his passive. And when, he, when they do that, I don't want to be regretting my decision of giving him all dodge and, you know, just having to maybe like use dupes or use stones to change over the hidden potential skills. I don't want to be caught in that situation. So instead of going the traditional route and giving him all dodge like a lot of people do. Now, I purposely didn't get the Frieza super off, not Frieza, the uh, Cell super off and the Frieza now, mainly because I don't want these guys to kill Broly too fast. So, you know what, actually, I'm gonna use a Ghost Dasher here just so we can actually see more of the AGL Golden Frieza. Here we go. And uh, yeah, I just don't wanna be caught in that situation, guys. And if you guys are building your AGL Golden Frieza right now too, I would recommend actually going for crit and dodge, because like I said, he is gonna, not no, crit and additional. Crit and additional, my bad. Because, I mean, he's definitely gonna get an Extreme Z Awakening at some point in the future. There's no question. There's no question. Yo, look at Broly stacking all these attacks in the beginning. This guy played himself. This man played himself. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a really good showing of how good of a tank he is. I'm very excited. I wish we got the Dokkan attack off, but that's okay. 17 damage for the normal, 91 damage. And our damage output is not going to be great, but like I said, Extreme Z Awakening in the future. So basically, this guy did about the same damage that Broly does to him back to Broly. That's hilarious. All right. Um, so this super usually does about 200k to me, and he's going to eat it for 11,000, guys. 11,000. That's it's wild. That's why, like I said, probably the best tank in the game. Probably the best tank in the entire game. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, if you guys you know are building him right now, I would definitely recommend going with the route that I did: eleven additional, twelve critical, three dodge, just for you know that chance to dodge. If this guy, if your team falls below, um, what is it, fifty percent HP? and he doesn't tank anymore, then at least he has that chance to dodge. But later on, I do think that they're gonna make him, first of all, they're probably gonna make the HP restriction a little bit better, so maybe he will tank anything above 30% uh, HP and give him a little bit of attack as well, 50%, 70%, something like that. So I, I feel like I'm making the right decision, guys. I mean, I, I don't know, maybe it it <laughs> it's up to you guys. You guys can do whatever you want with your personal, um, you know, personal units, but that's just how I feel. I feel like that's the right way to go about it. I'm gonna try to use a Ghost Dasher. Is it gonna work again? I think it is gonna work again, right? Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna try, I don't think it's possible, honestly, but I'm gonna try to save this Dokkan attack. Oh, we can't, we can't. 
Uh, damn. Mm. All right, well, what can you do? What can, what can you do? I think that Broly might be dead. But then again, we have type disadvantage with the Golden Frieza, so maybe not. Maybe not. I'll have to see. Uh, oh, here's what we're, we're going to sabotage ourselves. This, here's what we're going to do. We're going to sabotage ourselves. We're going to miss all of the nodes, which kind of hurts me because I usually try to, like, I try really hard to get all of them. But we're trying to preserve the Broly here. Like, in this instance, in this case, we're not trying to kill Broly. Damn it! What? Why you got a crit, man? Why you got a crit? <laughs> Alright guys, well you know what, either way I think you've seen enough about the AGL Golden Frieza. Amazing tank guys, he ate that super that usually does 250k or so to a regular unit for 11,000. 11,000, he'll eat all normal attacks. If his passive is active, he will eat all normal attacks for about double digit damage. Maybe triple digit sometimes, but mostly double digit. And uh... Oh, last thing I forgot to talk about. Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, and Most Malevolent Clan are his categories. He has a lot of them, and that means he's a very versatile unit. You can throw him on many teams, and he'll be a very good tank on all those teams. Super Battle Road is huge for this guy, and also the new STR Gogeta Extreme Z Battle Event. If you guys are planning to go further, like really high up in the levels, past level 100, on that event this guy makes all the difference that's why i rambled him to be honest i usually will bring the tech golden frieza but this guy's agl and he's a better tank and gogeta does a lot of damage in the higher levels of his extreme z battle right so i rambled him and uh he's helping me a lot with that event so that's all i gotta say guys that is agl golden frieza you guys saw how crazy of a tank he is and his damage output is actually more impressive than expected and expect it to only get better once he gets an Extreme Z Awakening in the future, which I fully expect to happen. See, I don't know when, but it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. So that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this AGL Golden Frieza. And as always, if you guys like the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows I'm going to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.